Hi everybody, Michaelo here. So I'm going to do uh, something I haven't done before on, on here. Unboxing video. So it's not a video game, but it's for a Kickstarter I did. Now anybody who knows me knows two of my loves are tarot cards. I collect tarot card decks and the Wizard of Oz books by L. Frank Baum. And I love Oz. So on Kickstarter, I saw the Shadow of Oz Tarot by Logical Associates being run. I had to take advantage of that. So here we are. Now, I just did the uh, tier where it was, you just get a copy of the deck. So um, I opened up the I opened up the uh, priority mailbox. By the way, I got it. It looks great so far. Um, comes with a little business card with all their information on it, Illogical Associates. Uh, Illogical Associates did the Dorothy comic book a while back, and uh, and they decided to go ahead and do a True to the Books tarot card deck, so let's go ahead and get on with it. Now, the uh, deck itself, it's black with kind of a nice dark gray. I'm not sure that you can see it here, um, but it does look very nice uh, on the back. It has all the information on the deck. Let's see, uh, tarot cards, a symbol of, a series of symbols that evoke the mystery of the human imagination and inspire connectivity of thought. Oz tales and the characters from L. Frank Baum that explore and delight in the human imagination, inspiring future stories and creativity. There are over 200 fan novels based off of Oz. So if that tells you anything. <clears throat> Comics, a storytelling medium where images juxtaposed in sequence convey emotion, information, and drama. So, yes, they brought all three of those together. Uh, let's see, Derek Robertson, Trina Robbins, uh, Jimmy Robinson, Steve Lealoa, uh, and Eric Shanower, and 13 other stellar artists. Now, I am a huge fan of both uh, Eric Shanower and Trina Robbins, and both fantastic artists. So, let's get started without further ado, shall we? Very good. Now it's very easy to pop open this thing. The box is shiny and pretty. And <clears throat> so let's see what it looks like on the inside here. Okay, now immediately upon opening, now the, the box is kind of nice and shiny. The book itself is um, matte, so it doesn't reflect very much. But this is the, this is the book that explains what all the cards mean and everything. It's Kind of, it doesn't have a lot of illustrations in it. It has the uh, pretty much the card description. Uh, let's see, like for instance, the sun, button bright, a very young boy in light blue sailor's outfit rides the wooden sawhorse. Okay, and it goes on. Uh, readings, creativity, confidence, safety, and glory. So it just gives some key words for the car, for the card. Uh, the notes. This is the flip side of the moon card. You know what? What it and it goes into what it means. Talks about where Button Bright and the Sawhorse first appeared, and gives a, an art credit. So I was looking at the sun. Um, all in all, it's not there's not very much to it, but you know what? You you need the information, you get the information now. So nice and compact there. I like that this is whole one little compact package. It also makes it kind of portable. So nothing else in here. The back of the card is. You know, pretty much what you expect. Now, here's the, this is how big the cards are with my hand. Um, right, so it should be interesting to, so let's go ahead and pop this open. Now, as I understand, these cards are only based on L. Frank Baum's books, uh, and somebody can correct me if, uh, if I'm wrong, but uh, it doesn't include any of the material from Ruth Homey Thompson or any of the other artists of, uh, um, Royal Historians of Oz. So let's see here. So let's see, I'm looking at here the uh, king of discs. So they decided to do discs instead of pentacles. And there's that. I'm not quite sure who that is, but that's okay. Um, uh, Knight of discs is little Toto. Uh, this gentleman, the crooked magician, this is the Eight of Discs. Uh, the Crooked Magician, he's a uh, Dr. Nicky, not Nicky Dick, I'm pretty sure I got that name wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, 
So it goes on. Let's see. The uh, there's the discs, swords, Ambiambi. <laughs> you can't go wrong with Ambiambi. Oh, and swords. You've got to have somebody like General Ginger. See the Knight of Swords. Now uh, Belina doesn't take any crap from anybody. Let's see. For some reason, the Page of Swords is Jellia Jam, the Maid of the Emerald City. This is. These cards are pretty slick. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, some of these do actually have scenes from the books. Like, for instance, right here, you have Ojo the Unlucky plucking a five-leaf five clover, which is illegal in Oz because it's used in magic works. This is the Seven of Swords. Uh, we have, you know, we have the creation of Chop Fight from the Tin Woodman of Oz. So, all in all, now these cards are, they're also matte, not gloss. They don't try to reflect. Let's see. Well, let's uh, let's get to it. Oh, one of Eric Shanover's uh, pictures. Ha ha ha! Man, I love his art. So let's see. Let's see, let's see how well they shuffle now. Now, bear in mind, I'm not a ooh, polychrome uh, on the star. Perfect. So we have now. The one thing I've noticed is that the book itself has meanings, but it doesn't seem to have reverse meanings, so um, so if you want to have reverse meanings, then go ahead and go to any other deck that you might have. Now, bear in mind, I've never been very good at shuffling cards of any kind, so much less things this huge. It would have been, I think it would have been nice if these cards would have been smaller. But you know what? They do shuffle very nice. Let's see. We can let's see how well it. Uh, was that okay very nice oh I like these I actually do like how this feels in the hands so that's uh, just for fun let's do a little quick thing here uh, oh I got a reverse card already uh, but since this deck doesn't seem to do reversals they'll do uh, let's see judgment Oh yes, we love judgment. And the world. Now the world is pretty much a little map of the land of Oz. Dorothy in the middle with the silver slippers and her four friends. So and Toto too. <laughs> uh, if you uh, here's one of Eric Shanor's ones too. If you want to try and identify all of them in the picture, well, that's that's. Uh, that's fun. So, all in all, though, I'm going to say uh, this is actually a purchase I'm glad I made. The uh, the cards look very nice. They're nice and firm. And they shuffle well. It's well packaged. It's very nice. And uh, now I actually have the original, the Tarot of Oz, which was published by Llewellyn. I don't like it. I am sorry if, you, if you're into those I just did I never liked it I was actually thinking about doing my own tarot cards of Oz but then the logical associates beat me to it and frankly I'm glad they did they did they did it better than I would have okay I am I am really happy with these cards uh, if you can if you if you decide you want to get a, a good tarot deck and you like Oz get these it's called the shadow of Oz tarot from illogical associates uh, so all in all I'd give it five stars and uh, uh, you, even with the trouble I had trying to shuffle them, yeah, I would definitely give them five stars. Good job, Logical Associates.